all the other noise that people say about whatever they think my personal life is, that's my personal life. Right. And I would never make public statements about anything private of mine when it comes to who's in my bed or anything like that. Um, but It's from an article, and it states, NBA star Dwight Howard has denied sexually assaulting a man. I knew it. Mm. Who, Dwight? Yeah. Yes. We have I've to been do saying he was gay. Dwight bro. Howard says it's none of nobody's <laughs> business who he texts and sleeps with admin his sexual allegations lawsuit. The sports industry is no stranger to the drama that often surrounds its stars. Recently, an unexpected twist sent shockwaves through the sports community as rumors about former NBA star Dwight Howard's alleged complicated relationships emerged. It all began when an individual claiming to be Howard's ex-boyfriend took to the internet to reveal he was involved in an affair and was treated badly in his short relationship by the NBA star, setting off a storm of speculations. As the online chatter reached a crescendo, the world turned its gaze towards Dwight, leaving him with no choice but to address these weighty accusations. In this video, we'll dig into the whole situation, trying to figure out what's true and what was Dwight's reaction to it all. Join us as we get to the bottom of this intriguing story. Earlier this summer, Dwight was accused of having an affair with a man he met on Instagram as well as a third party. According to the man who revealed himself as Stephen Harper, he had only come to see Dwight, so the third participant, a man who goes by the name Kitty, was not supposed to be there. Now, Stephen has sued Dwight, bringing forward a litany of serious allegations, including battery, intentional infliction of emotional distress, and false imprisonment. While Dwight admitted to his complicated involvement with Stephen and a third party, he asserted that everything was completely consensual. This issue began in 2021 when Dwight received a DM from Stephen. Stephen sent some videos and pictures that seemed to have caught Dwight's attention, and he decided to explore this new connection. He had invited Stephen over, ultimately leading to a steamy encounter. However, Stephen's side of the story suggests it wasn't a consensual adventure. I was lying. You would say, you're lying, you're lying, you're lying. You're lying. And you know I'm not lying. Just keep it real. Stephen's lawsuit says that he met Dwight through Instagram and that they exchanged inappropriate text messages before arranging to meet at Dwight's home on July 19, 2021. Stephen alleged that when the two met up at Dwight's house and engaged in consensual kissing, a friend of Dwight's arrived. Stephen continued in his revelation that Dwight said the friend was a man he had consensual relationships with sometimes. He then alleged he told Dwight he did not come to the house to engage in such a relationship and offered to leave, but that Dwight assured him he would not have to participate and convinced him to stay. However, according to Stephen, Dwight became verbally aggressive toward him after he repeatedly denied his offer. Stephen said he became terrified because he was confined within Dwight's bedroom, and both Dwight and the friend were much larger than him, and only agreed after he considered he would suffer imminent bodily harm if he resisted their advances. According to Stephen, this made him feel violated and in complete shock. But apparently, things did not end there as Stephen explained that Dwight forced him to get a ride from Kitty after he tried to go home in an Uber. Stephen's lawsuit includes submitted evidence such as text messages and an Uber receipt dated July 19, 2021, aiming to corroborate his visit to Dwight's residence. In response, Dwight has refuted the allegations. The former NBA star has requested that the court dismiss the explosive lawsuit vehemently denying the accusations. Court documents secured by Radar Online reveal that the NBA icon has acknowledged meeting Stephen on social media in May 2021. Dwight, in his legal response, admitted to exchanging messages, several of which included inappropriate contents, such as photographs and videos, from May 2021 to July 2021. He confirmed that a meeting took place at his residence on July 19th 2021, where consensual acts, including kissing, occurred between them. Dwight's defense maintains that all involved parties had prior knowledge of each other's participation and consented to the relationship that transpired. The three agreed to touch one another, 
and to engage in a consensual act. Dwight's legal representation articulated, Challenging the allegations of forced participation, Dwight has requested the dismissal of the entire lawsuit, denying all accusations of battery, intentional infliction of emotional distress, and false imprisonment made against him. He asserts that the engagement between Stephen, Kitty, and himself was entirely consensual, refuting claims that any party was forced or coerced into participating against their will. According to reports, Stephen first reported the alleged incident to Gwinnett County Police on July 15, 2022. Stephen claimed to have received a chilling death threat from the third person who was involved in the alleged encounter with Dwight, Kitty. According to the police report, Kitty warned Stephen to keep everything a secret or face the threat of putting his life on the line. After the initial report, police tried to schedule a time for Stephen to come in for a formal interview, according to a police incident report. After making several attempts to meet with him, the detective suspended the case because of a lack of participation from the alleged victim, police said. Some months later, precisely in July 2023, Stephen went ahead and filed a lawsuit against the former Lakers star. After his legal admission of being gay, Dwight broke his silence on social media by denying the claim that he was involved in battery or attack against Stephen. The ex-NBA player used Instagram Live to advise people to focus on their actions and private lives rather than concern themselves with what he does in his bedroom. Whatever I'm doing in my bedroom is my damn business. Whatever you're doing in your bedroom is your damn business, he said. I ain't got to tell anybody where I put my wood at. I like people saying, like, um, I don't spend time with my kids or, you know, I'm a deadbeat dad. Or that I would ever do anything to hurt my kids. All the other noise that people say about whatever they think my personal life is, that's my personal life. Right. And I would never make public statements about anything private of mine when it comes to who's in my bed or anything like that. He continued, everybody don't need to know. You ain't got to say what is going on in your house. That ain't for everybody on the internet. Y'all are just weird. Dwight subsequently shared a reel, asserting to fans that the rumors and comments about him have left him unaffected. Dwight, now playing in the Taiwanese Pro Basketball League, posted a TikTok video where he appeared to mockingly address the situation, simulating a phone call and typing aggressively on a keyboard. How they want me to respond to the haters online, the 37-year-old basketballer captioned the video, accompanying it with a crying laughing emoji. Meanwhile, some years ago, Dwight denied being gay. Back in 2018, he was embroiled in controversy when a transgender woman named Mazine Alij claimed that they had dated and been intimately involved before he found out that the former NBA player was sleeping with a transgender woman. He then claimed that Dwight Howard ended up threatening and harassed him online. The author and entrepreneur also alleged that Dwight wanted him to sign a non-disclosure agreement and accept hush money, but there was no evidence to support his claims. Alij proceeded to file a lawsuit against Dwight, who denied knowing him personally. After Mazine Alij's claims were made public, Dwight Howard came forward and denied the allegations. Dwight appeared on Fair Game with Christine Lay on FS1 in 2019. To discuss the lawsuit, he even opened up about his gender preference and told Lay that he was not gay. I'm not gay. It's a lot of people who are, and they have to hide. And there's people who have mental issues and they have to hide. There's people who have different problems in life and they have to hide. They have to put on the mask every day. And it's like, I don't want to wear no mask. I just want to be, he claimed. Now, with the recent news surfacing about Dwight's involvement with Stephen Harper, Alij has taken to the internet to address the issue, breaking the NDA agreement. In his statement, Mazine Alij expressed his hope that Stephen finds justice in this situation firmly stating, I believe every word. Alij also discussed breaking the non-disclosure agreement, NDA, that he claimed Dwight had made him sign in 2018. He felt a sense of validation after years of being labeled a liar for the claims he made about Howard. He, he said Howard tried to touch his thigh and stoked his privates to his underwear. and uh, Stop! 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 I can't! I can't! I can't! I, I just can't! Additionally, Alij revealed in his statement that Kitty 
The third individual mentioned in Stevens' lawsuit against Dwight had harassed him in 2018. So with Howard not denying the existence of any relationship between the three males, in fact, he confirms that it was consensual by stating so and only denying the occurrence of any attack. How the issue will unfold is still a mystery. So, what are your thoughts about Howard's action? Do you think anything is fishy with the way he invited a complete stranger to his home, given his status as a celebrity? Share your thoughts in the comment section below. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any updates.